good afternoon to everyone. Thank you for being here with us today as we celebrate the reopening of our Clifton Park Tennis Court. What a day. It may be cloudy, but it's a bright day here in Baltimore, and we're so excited uh, for this opportunity. And there's so many people that I will come back and thank uh, at some point in time today for this development, including our community. But I, I want to thank our, our mayor, Mayor Young, who's here with us today, our council president, and other elected officials. Thank you all for being with us. So at this point in time, to start this and kick this off, I would like to start with our mayor coming up to share a few words. Please help me in welcoming Mayor Young. Thank you, uh, Director Moore. First, I'd like to acknowledge City Council President uh, Brandon Scott. Is uh, Delegate Smith here? Okay, she's not here yet, but she's on her way. Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, and your next Councilwoman for the 14th, 14th District, Odette Ramos. Um, Lindsay Keller, Senior Director, USTA Programs and Services, and Dana Stein, Executive Director, Civic Works. The City of Baltimore remains committed to the enhancement and reestablishment re of recreation spaces and opportunities for all residents, young and old. I'm extremely pleased to see Baltimore City Recreation and Parks make tennis accessible to all. These improvements in Clifton Park will benefit everyone from all age groups and ability levels. Kudos to Baltimore City Recreation and Parks for continuously raising the standard of recreation for all of our residents in Baltimore City. And a special thank you to our partners at USTA and Civic Works for their hard work to get this project completed. And thank you to all of the companies and organizations that help in this huge endeavor that will have a lasting impact on this community for generations. Thank you, and now let me introduce Council President Brandon Scott. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and, and Delegate Smith has arrived. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this is a critically important thing. We know how much it means for, for everyone in Baltimore to have the open space and active places to play. Uh, tennis is a sport that I've never played until today. I can't wait, Director Moore. But uh, I often did find myself as a child in Drew Hill Park with my uncles and aunts watching them play tennis, uh, even though they never allowed me to do so. I want to thank the good partners here at Civic Works, uh, the U.S. Tennis Association, everyone in the community who really thinks at Clifton Park as a place uh, that we can really reimagine and reactivate from top to bottom. I know that Councilwoman Clark and future Councilwoman Ramos agree with that. This is a place, a park that's very near and dear to my heart. It's a place that I've been coming uh, basically my whole life. But really, uh, during my time in, in public office, we've done some great things here. Uh, we're known for showing the NBA Finals right outside the Clifton Mansion for folks to come, uh, Ravens games, just figuring out different ways for folks to activate this park uh, things that we see in the community, what Mark Washington and Chum has done here to work with the neighborhoods to reintegrate it, Bella Edison, everybody. And this is an opportunity for us to reinvigorate a sport that has history here in Baltimore City and to help the next generation of folks learn how to play, but also to get folks back out on top quality court. So I can't wait to see it and I can't wait to touch, touch it off today. Thank you. Oh, sorry. And I will now introduce uh, my delegate, Delegate Stephanie Smith. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, it's kind of funny. One of my biggest life regrets is that I went home from tennis camp early because I told my parents it was so hot. I could have been Serena, Venus. It was a waste of being tall, right? What a what a missed opportunity. So um, one of the good things about tennis, it's a sport that you can learn at any age and you can play at any age. So I now know it's not too late and I have something right in the heart of my district that can serve as a place for not only me to learn, but for my two young sons to learn as well. So they're definitely gonna be tall. So I think they're gonna have good serves. Now, one of the other things I wanna remember is that 
tennis isn't just good for your body, it's something that can bring all types of people together, no matter your age, no matter um, if you see yourself as an athlete or not. It gives a little bit of something for everybody. And when you see the size and scope of the work that's been done here, it's a testament to the vision of not only the people that lived in this community for decades and generations, but to new partners and new, uh, new friends like um, Civic Works and to the U.S. Tennis Association. And then also, most importantly, we had the support of Park and Rex to really see this through across the finish line. So I'm excited. It's a beautiful day to play tennis. We don't have too many more of those probably left, but I want to thank you, Mr. Mayor, and also Council President for your support. And this is right here in the heart of the 45th District. Hurrah! Thank you, Delegate Smith. At this point in time, we would like to bring up our um, council uh, elect for the 14th District, uh, Councilwoman elect Odessa Ramos. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm, uh, uh, they want me to practice a little bit uh, because of course our illustrious Mary Pat Clark is here and she's obviously been a champion of uh, Clifton Park revitalization for a long time. So again, I wanna make sure that we are uh, congratulating her on all this effort. And of course, uh, I look forward to building on, on her legacy. Uh, I want to let you know that I told my husband, his name is John Spurrier, and he has lived in Baltimore all of his life uh, in original Northwood in the 14th district. And uh, he was a member of the Clifton Tennis Club, he and his family. And they used to play here on Wednesday nights. And he would tell me he's got great stories of he and his family here um, at Clifton Park. And so I'm so excited to be able to reopen this and hope that everybody in Baltimore comes back to Clifton Park to play. It is a beautiful park. It, these are great courts and there's so much that this park has to offer. So please come back. It, the park is one of our greatest assets. And so the community, thanks to uh, Mark Washington and also to Civic Works and to so many others, have been really working hard to revitalize it. And I look forward to continuing to work with all of you to do that. Uh, you know, I, I want to say that I am uh, a runner. I run all over the district. And coming into Clifton Park is beautiful. We got to stop, we got to slow down the traffic so that a lot of us can be able to enjoy it uh, as well um, without having to worry about whether or not we're going to hit by a car. Uh, so I'm excited to work on those kinds of efforts as well. So I want to thank all of you who worked on this project. This is a really big deal. I am so, so happy to see multi generations here playing tennis. And by the way, I just learned about pickleball. I had no idea that you could play pickleball, which is a little shorter game of, of tennis. So thanks again. This was great. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so honored. And please, everyone in Baltimore City, come to Clifton Park. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilwoman-elect uh, Ramos. Look forward to continuing to work with you. But I want to, uh, before I, I continue, I will be remiss if I didn't take this moment to again acknowledge Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark, who has given this city over 75 years of her life. So, Councilwoman Clark, thank you. Thank you for your, your commitment. Uh, we've had many conversations. I've only been here three years, but I can tell you she's always been an advocate. Av uh, spokesperson for recreation so we're, we're thankful again I want to thank our, our mayor mayor young who's who always talks about his life wouldn't be the way it is today if it wasn't for recreation and parks so so thank you sir for your your time and your service with our city um, and our, our council president-elect he's also shared his stories about the value of recreation um, so it's so important that we continue to move our, our vision forward as an agency um, one of the things I think about is when we start talking about our vision, as I came here three years ago, and we start talking about how we can be innovative and creative in the work we do, it starts with what you believe in. And our, our vision is pretty straightforward. It says building a stronger Baltimore, one community at a time through conservation, health and wellness, and social equity. And we hold all three of those three components, conservation, social equity, and health and wellness to heart. So today, we're celebrating the health and wellness piece. We're also celebrating the opportunity for social equity as well. So we're so excited about this opportunity and this renovation, this reopening. But I, I, I have to acknowledge some individuals who have uh, made sure that this became a reality. Uh, I want to acknowledge Adam Borman, who's the chief of our, our capital team, um, Will Anderson, who has been the, the architect on this project. Thank you. 
Uh, I want to thank uh, RK and K for their civil engineer work as as, as well. Uh, but Ally Construction. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you taking all this hard work from our team and, and RK and K to develop this. So thank you all uh, for, for that continued. So now our challenge is to our rec staff, our, our rec leadership, that we continue to find ways that we can be innovative and creative to give kids in Baltimore City an opportunity. And this is a great opportunity. And as uh, Councilwoman-elect uh, Ramos stated earlier, What's so unique about this court is it can meet many different uh, opportunities for us. As you can see, we have a group that's playing pickleball right now. So our court, some of our courts have the actual pickleball, pickleball lines, which is a really ex exciting sport as, you know, as we start getting up in age a little bit, our knees don't move as much, we can really get out and be engaged. But we also have on the end some junior courts for our 10 U's and under, which is, gives us an opportunity to start teaching kids at a younger age so they're not learning on this bigger court. So um, before I bring up this next individual, we talked a little bit before about USTA and their relationships. And I, I'm familiar with the, the opportunities with USTA. I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with, with uh, opportunities to bring not only opportunities for our community from a programming standpoint, but it's an economic opportunity for us. It's an opportunity that we can start creating um, tournaments and other things that can generate more revenue coming to our community. So I'm excited about us continuing to strengthen that partnership as well um, as we move forward. But before I bring Miss um, Keeler up from, from USTA, I want to make sure that our, our uh, delegate uh, Stein from Civic Works, if he would come up and, and share uh, a few words for us, and Civic Work is one of our partners, so thank you, and please, sir, if you'll come forward. Well, well thank you very much, Director Moore, and um, we were, on behalf of everyone at Civic Works, we were just so absolutely thrilled at the developments that are being unveiled here today, the, the tennis courts, the pickleball courts, the other amenities, and um, you know, a lot of us were here at the announcement, I guess, the, uh, a couple years ago about the project, and it was a great vision. It looked great, and and it's it's terrific that today this vision has been fulfilled, and we so appreciate what that represents from the City of Baltimore and the Department for its commitment to Clifton Park um, at, and the value of recreation and the, re and the value of parks, and uh, we at Civic Works have been very proud to be part of the efforts of the department to to bring back this park and uh, director moore it's been a real privilege to work with you and your office in the many improvements that your office has undertaken to to uh, to benefit clifton park in fact just this past year uh, we and the friends of clifton mansion represented by sam hopkins had the opportunity to work with you on the improvements on the south lawn and we look forward to the the new things that are to come and um, I want to say personally, I look forward to trying out the, the game of pickleball, which uh, just like uh, uh, soon to be council member and Civic Works board member Odette Rama said uh, she first learned about and I first learned about pickleball through this project. And, and also, uh, Delegate Smith, um, maybe I can join you on the tennis course because my tennis game is, is really rusty. It's been dormant for about 20 years. So with these new courts, I'll be so tempted to come out and play. So, you know, these will be great benefits for everyone in the community, certainly for Civic Works and for um, our staff and participants. We're gr very grateful. And we're also just very grateful to the mayor, to the council president, to Mary, for uh, councilwoman uh, Mary Pat Clark, soon to be council member Odette Ramos and Delegate Smith for your longstanding support of Civic Works. Uh, it's been our absolute pleasure and our pride to be a partner with the city of Baltimore. Thank you. And I guess now I'd like to call back up Director Moore. Thank you. And, and at this time, if we can have uh, Ms. Keeler from the USTA to come up and share a few words. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm thrilled to be here today on behalf of the U.S. Tennis Association Mid-Atlantic Region to celebrate in the Clifton Tennis Courts reopening. I want to congratulate Baltimore City Recreation and Parks Department, the City of Baltimore, and Mayor Young on their continued commitment to the health and wellness within their community. Public parks has a rich history for being places that have really spurred the growth of tennis and produced some of the greatest players in the game. It is on public tennis courts like the ones we're here to celebrate today that many children, adults, and even families are picking up the racket for the very first time. 
It's also where all people, no matter their background, demographic, or socioeconomic status, can come to have fun. We all know we need that now more than ever. <laughs> Get physically active, meet new people, or bond with their friends, and even put their competitive spirits to the test through a game that can and is played for a lifetime. In fact, right here in the Mid-Atlantic, 50% of all tennis players are playing tennis on public park courts. And it's courts like these that so many others have rediscovered their love for the game during this pandemic. Now more than ever, people are looking for ways that they can find a sense of normalcy, a sense of community, and safe ways and spaces to be active. These tennis courts will bring this and so much more to the people in the city of Baltimore and the surrounding communities. These courts are special because not only are they beautiful, I mean, look at them, they're pretty beautiful, but they're safe for play, but they also exceed industry standards and in how they've been revitalized. We commend the city and the Parks and Rec Department for recognizing the importance for revitalizing, revitalizing the courts in this way and for recognizing how tennis can improve health and outcomes, especially among our youth. For recognizing how important it is to give all people a chance to learn and grow through sport and for recognizing the potential that you can unlock for economic growth and revitalization through sports and courts just like this. UST Mid-Atlantic is thrilled and excited as we look to future partnerships with Baltimore City Recreation and Parks to bring tennis events, leagues, and other programs here together. And I want to congratulate everyone who played a part in it, bringing these fantastic tennis courts to life. And I look forward to seeing these courts safely filled with happy, smiling faces very soon. Thank you for having me here on behalf of the UST Mid-Atlantic and congratulations again. And at this point in time, as, as we continue to uh, move our, advance our agency, it's important that we have input and feedback from our community. So um, our last speaker, if I can ask uh, Mark Washington, president of CHOM, to come up and share a few words. Director Moore, I thank you uh, so very much. Um, I want to thank Mayor Young for being a lifelong member of East Baltimore that has always been committed to this park. I want to thank uh, my brother in progress, Council President Scott, for always being here for us in East Baltimore. As he said, when we did some crazy things like showing the NBA Finals out here, it was just uh, a great thing to do for this park. Um, and I also want to thank my partner in progress, uh, John Seacott. Um, John is somewhere back there. And we started down this road in about, uh, I guess it was 2006, with the Clifton Park Master Plan. And at that time, uh, a number of residents said, ah, we don't really play tennis. And I said, well, that's unfortunate, but you don't understand the history and importance of the tennis courts uh, to this park and to this community. Uh, Clifton Park is a gem in the middle of East Baltimore. And it is reflective of what we see here today, the hard work and determination of Director Moore. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Director Moore and I and John, we were on a rather long Zoom call last week as we're continuing to map out the progress and the changes for Clifton Park. Uh, to Adam Borman, who has been with us uh, every step of the way for the last few years, thank you, sir, for indulging me. I know sometimes I can be a little abrupt and gruff, but as you can see, it all pays off in the end because what we have here in the heart of East Baltimore is a gem. It's a beauty that's going to bring back the entire Clifton Park community, from Bel Air Edison to South Clifton Park to Dolly Park to Coldstream Homestead Montebello. This is the hub that brings it all back. And Director Moore, I cannot thank you enough for understanding that and what you have accomplished and are about to accomplish here. Thank you. Yeah. Hey,